To demonstrate the steps, I will be doing exactly what you will be doing for your project. So we will start with a problem statement, just as you would start with a problem statement. And then for that particular problem statement, we'll carry out everything in the project. Okay, so all you really do is you will create your own problem statement and then you will just repeat the steps that I have got except in the context of your problem statement. So let's go. So here is our problem statement. In my case, I've got only five steps, uh, five points if you like. Uh, yours would be somewhat bigger because uh, what I have created here just creates I think five or six entity types. In your case, I would require something a wee bit more complex. I would want you to have 10 entity types. Okay, It's not difficult to actually get 10 entity types because you'll have associative entities and you know things add up pretty quickly. So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to read out all the steps uh, here. At this point, it won't make any sense. Uh, but as we develop our logical model, what I'll do is I will repeat all the points again. So for example, when we are building the logical model, I'll first take point number one here and then show what the logical model comes out. Then we'll take point number two and then we'll add on stuff to our model and so on. So by the time we finish step number five, we'll have the complete logical model for this. Okay. So at this point, there's no point in me reading out the whole thing. Okay. So once again, uh, just like I said, uh, this description only produces six entity types. You will need something slightly more complex, so you have 10 entity types. Okay. Other than that, everything that we show here is completely representative of what you need to do for your project.